What's up guys, today I will be talking about handling PII in Databricks. So PII in a nutshell means any personally identifiable information of an individual like his DOV, his phone number is considered as a PII. So in Databricks, I will implement in a, a very concise way. So let's get started. So handling PII in Databricks. So there is a term called pseudonymization. So what does pseudonymization mean? Uh, pseudonymization is the process of removing personal identifiers from data and replacing those identifiers with placeholder values. So in Databricks, uh, de-identifying PII or doing pseudonymization, we use hashing technique. So what does hashing technique mean? Uh, applying hashing would result adding random strings to the character uh, as hashes are deterministic, uh, we will be adding random strings to beginning or end of the value, which would help us to reduce the risk of reversing the hash, which is also known as salt. So Databricks secret, uh, secrets can also be leveraged uh, for storing salt values. So I will be showing to you uh, how I implement this desalting and hashing technique in Databricks. So let's get started. So so let's let's say I have one temporary table, temp underscore user, and it contains PII information. Uh, my DOB is uh, this is the PII information. Even the user ID, it can be a PII information. I'm just explaining you how we can uh, de-identify the PII. So, so adding a, a salt would mean uh, like if we can we can reverse the hash. So let's say in if we search for this this Google if we search this hashing in Google hash key. So you will find the uh, the the encrypted one. So it says this that this has been decrypted as secret one two three. So adding some extra characters in the start or end of the uh, end of the uh, the column the field would help us uh, to uh, prevent uh, from uh, attacks from reversing our hashing key. So let's say if I want if I perform a hash on this this key one two three i have added extra layer means one two three four let's say if i generate this so this is the hash has of uh, of this text and if i do uh uh if i see this if the dec decrypted value of this has so we cannot find the, the decryption of this has key so adding an extra layer of has of value let's say one being one two three four or any secret number any secret value from either on the start or end of of your uh, of your character of your text would help you to prevent from the attacks uh, which 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 can reverse this means that reversing the has has so in in databricks we can this one should be coming through secrets so you can define one secrets inside secret scope uh, you can uh, you can identify you can give this information uh, so i am doing this just for a demo purpose but the best practice it would be a, to use secrets uh, to secrets to uh, define your unique value unique number that you want to add in your in while hashing so let's say if i add uh, means one two three four and uh, if i this is this is if i pass my dob now this i have set this to da dot salt and if i do the if i run this then we have hash value for for my dob so now if now what i can do is i, I will i can remove this dob and uh, and have a separate lookup table so that uh, the pii is not visible in my table so what I can do is uh, I can create a function and store that function and uh, uh, and store that as a SQL function, and then let's create this function and uh, this is just 
a code to test the function and then i can i will create a new lookup table that would contain my my hashed value of dob and user id so this is the the final lookup table that i would be referring where i have removed my uh, pii information thank you guys hope you like my video please like subscribe and encourage me to create more videos and if you have any questions please comment in my channel below and i will get back to you asap thanks guys bye